Good morning! Today we'll be continuing our build up to some of the most powerful weapons in the whole of Terraria. First we still need to go over some of the weak components. So this time we will be taking a look at the Blade of Grass. The Blade of Grass is a long reach broadsword which is crafted entirely of materials from the underground jungle. The blade's appearance lives up to its name, with it appearing like a giant rigid leaf, with a slightly serrated edge. Not only is the weapon capable of inflicting quite a large amount of damage for the time which it's obtained, but it also has a relatively good chance of inflicting poison upon its target. The sword is relatively unique among the weapons of Terraria, as it is one of only two plant-based weapons native to the jungle, and the only one that can be actually crafted. The other is the Seedler dropped by Plantera, which is widely considered to be the upgrade to the Blade of Grass, and can fire seed-like projectiles from its tip. There is still much speculation as to whether the Seedler uses a Blade of Grass in its creation. Proponents claim that inhabitants of the jungle forge the Seedler from its weaker counterpart, whereas the Trexes merely believe the stronger blade to be one of the razor-sharp leaves from Plantera itself. What is known though, is that unlike its counterpart, the Blade of Grass is unable to fire any form of projectile, although it does give off what appears to be leaves when it is used, although these are not dangerous in any way, shape or form. This sword can be quite easily crafted early on by collecting spines and stingers from the underground jungle. However, once the wall of flesh has been defeated, gaining these items actually becomes much more difficult as they will be dropped less frequently and the inhabitants of jungle become much more deadly. To this end, it is definitely a sword that should be crafted early on as not only will it save issues later on, but it will also prove to be one of the strongest weapons you are likely to encounter early on. In the past, anyone who attempted to craft the Blade of Grass would need a central mould to apply the jungle materials to. This morphed in the knot came in the form of a silver broadsword, but more recently techniques have been uncovered so that the sword can be crafted entirely from its jungle materials. Although this does not appear to alter its strength in any way, it does make the weapon much easier to create, and some contest that those crafted with the new technique are a pure representation of the jungle's strength, as opposed to the bastardised version with the silver core. Although being marginally stronger than most of its contemporaries, the Blade of Grass still doesn't manage to stack up to some of the stronger weapons in Terraria. In fact, if one were to continue using this sword after the battle with the Wall of Flesh, then death would be all but certain. Added to that, the relative ease with which it can be crafted leaves it seeming less and less impressive. However, all said, it is a rather unique blade, and that in itself means that it has been assigned an artifact rating of noteworthy. Now there's still a long way to go until we get to the really powerful stuff, and I know you've all probably read ahead and know exactly what's coming, so I'm sorry if I want to maintain a little bit of mystery. Anyway, remember to subscribe if you want more unnecessary mystery, and support the lecture series on Patreon if you're feeling a little bit flush with cash. Apart from that, I hope you all have a lovely week, and I'll see you all back here next time.